Hi and welcome to Saniore. Today we are visiting Kaha Chachashvili in his Marani. Uh, we are going to continue in Georgian, but later we will let you know what it's all about. Um, dear Kaha, I'm very glad to be here today. Let's start our interview with the story of Chachashvili Vineyards. So, thank you as well. I'll start from afar. In Kacheti, every family usually has a bit of grapes and a bit of wine. Our family was no exception to this. I liked to help out a lot. My favourite task was cleaning quivries. It was kind of a ritual for me. Then I grew up and I went to study. But my first profession wasn't winemaking, it was physics and mathematics. Only after I decided to study enology, and then my brother and I made a decision to start a winery. It happened in 2002. Also, we had a purely scientific interest towards wine that came together with education. Apparently, there were grape varieties we didn't know about, and we decided to cultivate them, bring them back. Now we have about 40 varieties at our vineyards, and work not only with traditional quivries, but also with French barrels. We enjoy experimenting with styles. For example, we have rosé wine made in quivry, and things like this. And first of all, we enjoy the wine we make. It's a great diversity. And how many varieties out of those 40 are ending up in the bottle? As the variety restoration takes time, now we only bottle 13. Some varieties are too rare and too few, some of them too young. I might make several litres of wine out of those rare varieties in order to understand how they taste. If I like it, I can plant more, but I'm sure that our cellar will never become a huge one. I realise that I won't be able to pay as much attention to the details as I want if we grow too much, which is why I prefer to have certain limits. My big hope is that our business will remain a family business and my children and my nephews will be involved. We already need help. More vines are being planted. The kids already have their wine, their special lines. Uh, they started to be involved quite early. Hmm. And how many little helpers are there now? Four of different ages. My boy is only three years old and one of the nephews is already 19. Of course, we employ people from the village too, but this is uh, still a family winery. We are three generations now, parents, my brother and I, and our kids. Kaha, let's talk about technology a bit. So, Quevery, Barrique, what are the perks of working, working with each of those? Our main direction is Georgian traditional method. Quevery, and I have a small amount of wine produced according to the classical international techniques. However, sometimes we combine. First, wine is fermented in the quivery with the skins and the stems, stays there for seven to eight months, and then it's being transferred into the barrique. This style is appreciated by many customers among the international style wines made only in barriques. We have my son Ilya's line, this wine ferments and ages only in wood. In this cellar we have 23 quivery, but in total we work with 45. Those rare grape varieties and our curiosity made us increase our capacities. Uh, and are those quivries Cahetian or Emiratian? An interesting issue you bring up. Uh, it's a difficult and important question in Georgian winemaking. We have quivries from both regions now, and we need more time to understand which one is better, or indeed if there is a better technology in this case. Probably if you're watching us now, you have already got some of this amazing wine at your wine cellar at home, and probably one of the highlights of this would be Hihvi. And today we are having the unique opportunity to taste Hihvi directly from the barrel. Uh, so this hifi was in quivery and in the barrel? Yes, it was on full skin contact with the, also with the stems for eight months and on May the 20th we opened the quivery and pumped it into the barrel. It's uh, vintage 2019. I'm very curious now how it develops and tastes. 
Հաղաց ախալի հարումատեպի կանի վիտարոս, մա ինտերես ավծավիան։ You do like experiments, do you? Yeah, our profession requires experiments. Uh, you see, it's amber, but not dark. The barrique helps it to become milder, to have a tender structure and milder tannins. In the language of science, it is called polymerization. Also, you might think that it has residual sugar, but it's absolutely dry. Chichli's uh, varietal aromas include this sweetness, this candiness. You'll always recognize Chichli among the other wines. It mm. is easy. very specific. Ah, so it's easy for the blind tasting, right? Unmistakable. Ripe, even overripe fruits, sometimes dry fruits are always there. Late summer aromas, you know. <laughs>